of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you. And with your spirit. Sisters, brothers, that we might enter worthily into the Lord's holy sacrifice, let us first call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Lord, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer to you right and praiseworthy service, Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins, that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have fashioned. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it, or be preserved had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls. For your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of all my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we reflect together today on this beautiful story of, of conversion as recorded by St. Luke, we first have to recognize that Jesus was just a day or two away from his triumphal entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, where just a few days later he would be arrested and condemned and crucified. Now many people in the town of Jericho were excited to see Jesus in person, but there were others who harbored suspicion and doubt. Zacchaeus was one of those who was excited, so excited in fact, that he was willing to do something which was totally out of character for him. He climbed up a tree. Imagine the chief collector of Roman taxes for the entire town of Jericho risking his fine robes to climb up a sycamore tree. The people already disliked him to begin with. Now they had even further reason for ridicule. 
But something inside Zacchaeus truly wanted to connect with Jesus. And looking up, Jesus saw him, his sincerity, and he wanted to give Zacchaeus the opportunity to get to know him better. So he says to him, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today, I want to dine at your house. Sharing a meal with Jesus convinced Zacchaeus that being one with Jesus was more important than anything else he had ever done or ever would likely do. He opened his heart. He repented of his past. But you know, at the same time, I ask you to consider with me someone whom the gospel does not mention by name, but who is very much affected by this change of heart on the part of Zacchaeus. Specifically, I ask you to consider the tax collector's wife. I suspect that she loved her husband very much, even though he brought 13 guests for lunch and didn't warn her. But I also suspected that she was taken quite by surprise by her husband's decision to give half of his possessions to the poor. I mean, they were her possessions as well. Do you not think that Mrs. Zacchaeus might have felt ill at ease, even threatened by her husband's change of heart? I think so. So I invite you, as I invite myself, to consider two possible applications to our lives. First, when someone we care about comes to a deeper relationship with the Lord, do we wonder or even perhaps worry about where that decision will lead him? Or when you or I come to a deeper relationship with the Lord, do those who care about us wonder or even worry about where that decision will lead us? At times, the greatest difficulty which we Christians have in following the Lord is the lack of support or even the opposition on the part of those who care about us. When Jesus calls a person to follow him, it eventually leads from Jericho or from wherever we come to the enthusiasm of Palm Sunday, to the sacrifice of Good Friday, but ultimately it leads to the transformation of Easter. Every single day, Jesus invites people like you and me to have a change of heart, and we can respond with doubt or fear, or we can respond to that invitation with faith and hope and love. In a few moments, Jesus will change our gifts of bread and wine into himself. May we take the risk and join our hearts to his holy sacrifice and find ourselves changed as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the power of the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and on the third day rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God wills the salvation of everyone. Let us pray to the Lord to pour out upon the world the graces which Christ has won for us. 
for the mission of the church. May she continue the Lord's work of proclaiming God's saving love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have never heard of Jesus, may we help them through our spiritual support to catch a glimpse of Christ's love so that like Zacchaeus, they may invite the Lord into their homes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. For all those in our Sunday TV Mass community, we remember and especially pray for our friends and benefactors who generously help make this ministry possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And on this day after All Souls Day, we pray for all our loved ones whom God has called home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, because of your loving care, you give us your saving help. Now answer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and become for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself so that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise and of your manifold wisdom be manifest now as your church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and he gave you thanks, 
he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace, peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call one 866 507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. Amen.